Why do women allow sexlessness in their marriage? You know, God's design for intimacy in marriage is this place of enjoying all of the benefits. Yes, it includes procreation, but it also includes pleasure and passion for a lifetime. Hi, I'm Mary Whitman Ortiz of Limitless Intimacy, bringing you the best tips and tools on how to create great intimacy in your marriage. On this channel, we talk about communication strategies and intimacy made simple steps all from a Christian point of view. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Now, as a relationship coach, I hear all kinds of stories and these issues just keep repeating. And I have to confess, I'm going on a bit of a rant here because I just can't stand it. I can't stand marriages that are struggling so much and suffering. My heart just breaks and I want to bring some things to light that aren't always easy but are definitely important. So let's get back to today's question. Why do women allow sexlessness in their marriage? Hey, I could substitute for why do men allow it because it definitely presents itself on on both sides. But I want you to listen to these reasons and see if you see it happening in your life and stay until the end because I am going to tell you the ultimate benefit of sex. All right, so reason number one, they buy into their own rejection story. Here's what this looks like. Oh, my husband's not interested in me because I'm not pretty enough. I'm not skinny enough. I'm not young enough. And very rarely do those things ever factor in. Most of the time, husbands are thrilled with their wives and just want to be with them. And so those I'm not good enough messages are actually in the wife's mind. Once again, this could be husbands and role, uh, wives in different roles, same type of story. But when you buy into a rejection, then you are creating some distance and you might be like, meh. That's just what it is. So that is definitely something working against you. Reason number two, you say, uh, it'll work out on its own. I mean, really, when does that ever happen? And with something as important as your marriage and something that requires as much intention as sexual intimacy, why would you ever think it will just work out? So People end up denying it. They end up just avoiding it. They make all of those excuses. Sometimes it's just in their head. Usually if you try to explain an excuse out loud, you're like, oh yeah, that one didn't really work at all. But when you get to that place where you're living in those excuses, it gets worse and you don't even remember what the original problem or issue is because you are just caught up in this whole tangle and I know you've been there right so I hope this is helping you and if it is would you give us a thumbs up and I have a question for you to answer in the comments when you were young and dating could you ever imagine that a couple who finally gets to be married and finally gets to have sex that they would choose to not have sex? Could you have imagined that? If you could, give me a yes. If you thought, no way, that's not possible, give me a no. Okay, reason number three, you might allow sexlessness to continue if you don't value healthy sexual intimacy. If you don't know the benefits, what's really happening, it is not just the pleasure of the moment. We are not just living for the orgasm, okay? That would be a completely different pursuit and that does not line up with the goodness and the gift that God has designed for sexual intimacy in marriage. You get 
overall health benefits for your body. Better sleep, your complexion. I mean, I could go on and on. Health benefits alone would be enough to pursue sex. There are emotional benefits to a healthy sex life. Those hormones that are released, they are amazing. They Build your confidence. I mean, there are studies done on the productivity that happens because of a happy marriage. That productivity in the workplace can bring you a promotion. That's an amazing thing. That is one of the benefits. And of course, when your marriage is thriving and you're not being drained by all of these sex problems, then you can live fully in your calling and your purpose and give to others. I mean, it's a blessing to your family. Even your children will feel more secure and reach their potential better and bigger if your sex life is on track. It's just a fact. I don't even have to make something up. Um, what is the fourth reason? Well, a woman might allow sexlessness to continue because she has allowed resentment to grow in her heart. And she might be saying, ah, it's just too late for us. I've tried everything I could do. Nothing worked. Uh, and then they start blaming their spouse and that's not pretty. And that begins to eat away because that blaming is usually internal and just that huh, they should know because if you're not having open conversations about sex, your spouse does not know what is going on in your mind. They don't know what you feel, how you're experiencing them. They are at a disadvantage if you keep all of this hidden. Now, the bottom line is sexlessness robs from you, your entire life and your marriage. It puts you at risk, not just for a divorce. It keeps you from being a success and from flourishing. And as I said, it eats away at the security, even for your children. I hope that that is a huge motivation. But if this is speaking to you and you're like, mm, I like it, but I need some more, please ask about the Dream Team Marriage Program because that's where we unpack how to make all of this a reality in your life. And now I promised you that ultimate benefit for sex. It bonds you to your spouse. It strengthens your marriage so you can face anything together. And you come out even stronger on the other side. Thanks so much for joining me. And remember, God's design for sexual wholeness in marriage is fulfilling and thrilling intimacy.